The sound of disco filled our ears, and these things filled our toy boxes. Play Family Farm complete is shown. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 toy lines from the 1970s. Here's the Fisher Price Play Family House, with its own handy garage for the Play Family car. For this list, we've looked at those toys that dominated the children's market in the 1970s. R2, it's a little you. Kenner's new radio-controlled R2-D2 anyone can command. It doesn't matter if they existed before our decade, only that their main era of popularity was within it. This is part of a series of videos ranging from the 1960s to the 2000s. I got your signal, let's go! Number 10. Hungry Hungry Hippos If you wanna win the game, you gotta take a good aim and get the most marbles with your hippo. A game that probably rests within many 21st century toy boxes as well. These Hungry Hungry Hippos were definitely not starved, starved of success in the 70s. A toy for up to four players, this was the highlight to many a sleepover, and a major reason why your friends were clamoring to stay for dinner. Set your trigger finger, release the marbles, and then enjoy the chaos. It's one of those wacky ideas that toy makers often have that really, really works. Playing hungry, hungry hippos. Hey! Hungry, hungry hippos. Hey! Number nine, punch me's. For some reason, there were few things in the 70s that satisfied quite as much as the thrill of getting to punch your favorite cartoon character square in the nose. Punch me's put Fred Flintstone, Popeye the Sailor Man, and many more onto an inflated piece of plastic and invited you to pulverize them. Of course, we all too often got a little carried away, body slammed Barney Rubble, and put an irreparable hole in his head. But hey, he was probably asking for it. Number 8. Pogo Sticks A concept that was first patented in 1891, the modern pogo was officially invented in March 1920 by Hans Polig and Ernest Gottschall. It was in 1978, however, that these spring yourself somethings really took off within the world of toys. The thrill of catapulting into the air for a few seconds made all the painful falls and near impalements worthwhile. Good, then go back. A risk element that's recently led to the creation of X Pogo as an extreme sport. If you had one of these, you were rad before your time. Even mom and pop can hop. Grandpa, too. Number 7. Walkie Talkies Kevin, this is Scott. Kevin, this is Scott. Do you hear me? Or now. Next, to a toy that the modern generation couldn't possibly understand. Scott, this is Kevin. My bike is broken. Can you help me? Before the smartphone, we had the walkie talkie, or the transistor radio if you were trying to sound posh. They're crystal controlled and battery operated, just like Dad's biggest CB units. And it was the height of toy technology in the 1970s. Available in a range of different designs, from Batman to Star Trek, if you had these, then everyone wanted to be your friend. Batman here. I found Batman. It's the Joker. I found his hiding place. I'm surrounded. Okay. Just remember to press the button before you talk. With fold-up antenna, alarm button, and danger signal. Too often we forgot, and too often valuable information was missed. Yes, but send me a signal so I can find you. <coughs> Number six, Fisher Price Garage. A toy aimed at a slightly younger age group next, as Fisher Price did what they did best. The company was a favorite with parents and kids alike because of their bright block colors and simple, safe, and satisfying designs. You can make believe you're a busy farmer, driving the tractor, and feeding the animals in the barnyard. And their garage toy was perhaps their most popular of all. A three-story service center complete with functioning elevator, spinning show area, and gas pump, this thing never got old. There you go. Car goes up, car comes down. Car goes up, car comes down. Car goes, well, you get the point. Number five, Star Wars toys. It's Darth Vader, watch out! And he's got a lightsaber! It was one of the decade's defining movies, and it was one of the decade's defining toy lines. 
when Star Wars was released in 1977, the intergalactic saga mounted an assault on the merchandise market like nothing else before it. My goodness, the Star Wars TIE Fighter and X-Wing Fighter. Now your children can relive our great space battles. With its range of action figures, vehicles, and specialist items, Star Wars topped many a Santa list that year. And here's Kenner's Death Star Space Station, four floors of action, a trash compactor too. Setting a film industry trend for generations to come, these toys brought a galaxy far, far away into our playrooms. Batteries are not included. May the force be with you and your children. Number four, Viewmaster. Now you can see scenes from Superman the movie on a Viewmaster viewer. This toy had been around long before the 70s, but it was during this decade especially that kids couldn't get enough of it. Just put in a reel and click, you can see Superman, the legendary man of steel, in action. The idea that you had some form of control over the image that was being shown before your eyes was novel enough. But add into the mix your favorite movies, shows, and characters, and perhaps an audio upgrade, and you've got a must-have accessory. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge! Now with the new electronic talking Viewmaster Viewer, batteries not included, see and hear 3D scenes from Disney's Mickey's Christmas Carol. Another retro toy that would be entirely lost on the modern generation. It looks simple now, but it was something special then. I always considered the GAF Viewmaster an ingenious invention, a great educational value. Gee, I always thought it was just a lot of fun. Number three. Light bright. Even if making lots of pretty pictures wasn't really your thing, Light Bright was a toy that everyone wanted to try out. Just pop in the colored pegs and follow the patterns. It's easy to make your favorite pictures and characters, or you can always create your own light pictures. Created in 1967, each set came with a load of light up plastic pegs and a blank canvas of peg shaped holes. The challenge was to arrange the pegs in the right holes to create something artistic. Then all that was left to do was to turn out the lights, turn on the canvas, and marvel at your masterpiece. Or in most cases, muse over where it went wrong. Light bright, turn on the magic of shining light. Light bright from Milton Bradley. Number two, Simon. Simon sets the pace, you follow right along. Light the lights that Simon lights or he'll tell you that you're wrong. Another toy for which light and color is key, Simon was perhaps the greatest 1970s example of a product that crossed over from kids to adults and back again. Simon's a computer. Simon has a brain. To either do what Simon says or else go down the drain. A game that could be played on one's own or with company. The point was to press the right buttons in exactly the right order. Working on the Simon Says concept, it was a memory test and a whole lot of fun. Its jolly jingle of victory ranks up there with the ice cream van in terms of sounds we love to hear. Thank you, Simon. Before we pull our top pick out of the toy box, here are a few honorable mentions. Riding the amazing Star Cycle. That gyro power sends him over a hundred feet at top speed. And with the new Erector, oh. kids can build this Star Cruiser, wow. a cargo transport, or radar tank, and your kids command their toys by remote control. What is it? It's Billy String from Whammo. Oh, I want one. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> Number one, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, look at them go now, wouldn't you know they're Hot Wheels? What for? The iced tea, the rocket by baby. Die-cast toy cars were a very big business throughout the 70s, but Hot Wheels were the absolute must-haves. A sturdy toy in which the quality compared to its competitors was clear. By the end of the decade, car manufacturers would be lining up out the door to get their latest designs done in miniature. Kids could race them, crash them, collect them, do anything they wanted with them. A combination of imaginative autos and real-life roadsters. For today's number one, we had to go with the winner. See these Hot Wheels everywhere? Take that some of those boaters. They help us get the job done. Do you agree with our list? Which toy did we leave behind? For more childhood reliving top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.
sensational. He's Evil Knievel.